soccer memory has to be when I first joined a little club soccer team. I think I was seven years old at the time or so. And our teams, Pokemon was really popular, so we named our teams after Pokemon. And so I was on the Scythers. Scyther! <laughs> we had green jerseys. When I started to write this script, I found myself borrowing so much from Jeff Carlisle's story on ESPN FC that it was honestly just better to convert it into the script of this video and start to edit and revise by myself. So while I've made several changes, this story was first created by the very talented Jeff Carlisle at ESPN FC. Please make sure to follow him for more great pieces like this. These days, the US player development system appears to be a veritable assembly line of talent. US-based academies are cranking out players at an impressive rate, and some of those players, such as Brendan Aronson, Tyler Adams, and Weston McKinney, have made considerable headway in Europe. And for the third year in a row, the number of players who have represented or are eligible for the United States men's side and are on teams in the group stage of the UEFA Champions League has reached double digits. The idea that talents are missed seems to be receding into the myths, but closer inspection of the Champions League groups reveals that there are still some soft spots in the US pipeline where a player can slip through the cracks. There's no place more evident when one considers Maccabi Haifa goalkeeper Josh Cohen the ultimate late bloomer. Imagine you're really good at something, but always just on the cusp of truly considering yourself better than the rest. For most of his career, Cohen has flown under the radar. He played four years at the University of California, San Diego, a Division II school where he studied bioengineering. After a season in the USL Premier Development League with the now defunct Burlingame Dragons, he spent parts of five campaigns in the USL Championship with three different clubs. And despite winning plaudits with the Sacramento Republic coaching staff and fan base, he received no offers from Major League Soccer. And you'll see that this is a theme of Cohen's entire career. As a player who has been consistently overlooked until he forces the hands of those in charge. He has some natural ability, but with a great determination, great work ethic, and great resolve, it's a guy who's been told no probably his whole life, and has kept coming back and kept pushing forward. In 2019, Maccabi Haifa of the Israeli Premier League came calling, and he quickly won the starting goalkeeper job. The Greens won the 2021-22 title, and Josh Cohen claimed the league's Player of the Year award. This season, Maccabi Haifa reached the group stage of the UEFA Champions League for the first time in over a decade. Placed in a daunting group of death with Benfica, PSG, and Juventus, Cohen says he and his teammates are relishing the opportunity on a stage he could have scarcely believed four years ago. At the time of this video recording, Maccabi Haifa are tied with Juve for third place in the group. No matter where they finish, Josh has been looking forward to this moment for his whole life. Captain Cohen, goalkeeper, yeah, outstanding night for him. Yeah, go on. But yeah, we had some <laughs> blinding saves today. Look at his footwork there, an outstretched there. That is uh, absolutely fantastic set. Wow, that is brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely, it, it really is. But it was not one, it was two. The concentration has to be key. And that's going in the, in the top corner. And Cohen, like I said before, the American team, they've got to be looking at him. Josh said it's something he's been dreaming about, but never in a tangible way. More like superpowers than dreaming of a new car. He says, I think this made it take a little longer to actually process when we first qualified. As for why Cohen went unnoticed for so long, he said he has always been a little bit of an outsider. Despite playing for Santa Clara Sporting, one of the better known clubs in the San Francisco Bay Area, and the same one that produced current FC Dallas and US international midfielder Sebastian Legette, Cohen was never part of the US Soccer Development Academy. In college, he remained an unknown commodity to everyone except for the most devoted followers of the collegiate game. He says, I was always good, but not the best in the area until later on. The advent of MLS and USL academies didn't do Cohen many favors, 
as teams preferred to go with known quantities rather than take a chance on a relative unknown. He says, realistically, at that point, I would have been a number three goalkeeper. That was just where they would have slotted me into any roster. And I don't think teams spend a lot of resources on that position either financially or time-wise. And so I think that position is one where it's really just to take the easiest, simplest solution. And maybe I wasn't that. But at every stop, Cohen seized opportunities to sharpen different parts of his game. In college, he realized the importance of being able to compete physically and put on 30 pounds of muscle over the course of his collegiate career. With Burlingame and the PDL, he learned how important it was to quickly establish chemistry with teammates, especially in a season that lasted just three months. His spell with the Orange County Blues, now Orange County SC, and later with the Phoenix Rising, exposed him to playing alongside more professional players and the challenge of reaching that level. This exposure at the Phoenix Rising included practicing alongside Chelsea legend Didier Drogba, even if it meant being humbled on occasion. One of Cohen's first training sessions in Phoenix saw him playing a small-sided game against DDA Drogba on a field that was maybe 35 to 40 yards long. Drogba was in the far corner, his back to goal, with an opponent putting pressure on him. Cohen says he somehow, without even looking at the goal, got a shot and chipped him from 35 yards out. It wasn't until 2019 that Cohen caught the eye of Sacramento Republic GM Todd Dunneman, who in watching Cohen on video thought, man, this guy has got something. But beyond Cohen's ability to fly around the goal, it was the player's ability to think and improve his game. Even while working on his master's degree in mechanical engineering at Sacramento State, that caught the eye. I think Josh is a guy that is very cerebral. No question about it, Dunneman said. His capacity to take in information, his capacity to expand his game, expand his mind, it's all somewhat related to him. He's got a big ceiling. And Dunneman continued, a lot of players can't handle that or can't adapt, can't evolve, can't find their growth in their game. Josh has the complete opposite. It's exactly what he does and what he's always done, and it gets better and better. He learns and he adapts and grows, and that's what his career has done, and now he's playing in the Champions League group stage. Too. And it was with the Republic that the man with few international contacts was able to use his network to take a giant leap forward. Thanks to his Jewish heritage, Cohen was already on Haifa's radar since he wouldn't count as a foreign player. But on the Republic roster that season was former Haifa captain Dekel Keenan, and his recommendation helped seal the deal to Maccabee Haifa. The former captain said, I could see from day one in Sacramento that he has great potential. The moment that Haifa called, they asked me about him and I didn't hesitate. I knew he would be a great addition for the team, even if he would be a backup keeper for a while. But that didn't happen. I knew he will have the patience and he would be respectful, even if he didn't play much. It was very easy for me to give my recommendation. He's a great shot stopper, and he has a lot of qualities that were sure to give Maccabee Haifa a lot of benefit. The jump from USL to the Israeli league required another period of adaptation. At age 27, there's a tendency to think that a player's technical ability is fully formed. But Cohen quickly realized that upon his arrival, this was an area that needed improving, especially his distribution. So every single day, Josh Cohen would head out to the field 15 minutes early and hit, quote, a couple of hundred one-touch and two-touch passes. The daily work soon paid off. I immediately started to see improvements in terms of my touch. And then as my touch was improving, that allowed me to start keeping my head up, not looking at the ball, looking at the players around, which then allowed for faster play, he said. Interestingly, Cohen's international prospects playing for a national team find him in limbo. Israel isn't an option now, given that since Cohen wasn't born there and didn't become a citizen until later in life, FIFA rules require a five-year residency, and he's only been there for three. He also reached out to U.S. men's national team goalkeeper coach Aaron Hyde, but realistically remains far down the U.S. depth chart. Yet Cohen's eye is never far from the country of his birth. 
Maccabee Haifa and Cohen acquitted themselves well in their UCL opener and were on the receiving end of a world-class strike from Alex Grimaldo. But as he has so often in his career, Cohen will only improve from the experience. I hope my peak is ahead of me, he said. That's the funny thing about peaks, is I guess you never know that you're on one until you look backwards. So I'm hoping that road in front of me is still a steep incline. Given the stage he currently occupies, more people are bound to notice soon. So I was on the Cyprus. <laughs>